So the connection with Mark, Mark is very, very conscious, permacultural expert. He is Gandalf. You will know I mean. I'll introduce you and... I, I know him. You know Yeah. Oh, that's uh, fine then. We know. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> Might have forgotten me, but... How do you get the dots, the little kind of pinky dots well, around your side virtual backgrounds? It says video filters to the right of it. No, hang on. I do that. I go to background filters. Oh, I, I'm the one who's got to let them in. <laughs> oh, you do. All right. Yeah. <laughs> he's been there waiting. <laughs> he's been. He's been. <laughs> he's been. He's been. He's been there. Waiting for. Okay. Coming in from left of Jupiter. Yes. Great to see you, Elijah. It's been a while. It has been too long. You blend in well with the planet. Looks like you're sort of the archetype of it. Yeah, well, possibly. I think I align more with Uranus. Ah. But... <laughs> what, what is that behind you, Mark? Uh, Jupiter. Okay. How are you? Ah, spectacular. <laughs> but I'll get better. Okay. Have I have we taken you out of the the, the awakened no, the, dream center? No, the uh, that other call only went five hours, five and a half hours, I think. It was a short okay. one. Okay. <laughs> that ended a little while ago. Uh, yes, yesterday's call went a uh, little over nine hours. Oh, wow! Uh, they could be brutal if they if we didn't end up kind of in a flow state, you know, in the last few hours. So it's it's mostly flow. So it's it's it doesn't have much effort and it doesn't have much time that people pay attention to. It's it's just a, a kind of a flowy state. Um, where just insights and innovations just keep pouring out and connections keep being made and doesn't tire anybody out, evidently. Nine and a half hours. Is this the Synergy Mastermind? It's the uh, Awakened Dream Synergy call that you presented at and uh, attended uh, several of, yep. Our record is 13 and a half hours, though. We have had a, that was last week. Holy Christ. Yeah. 12 p.m. till 1.30 a.m., my time. <laughs> a lot of people with a lot of time. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> Most I mean, people are pretty busy, but. I, yeah, I, I missed I missed five, five other meetings <laughs> that day. Um, I had to make those up during the week. So how, I mean, how would you summarize what's Elijah to you, to you, sorry, this side? How would, because... Uh, He's a wizard from a different sector of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? That's it. Yeah. His background is that's uh, the only question. About right. That's the only question I have. Like a butterfly nebula, you know, it's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I loved his. Uh, I loved his uh, maps and his uh, methods of conversation. And his. Uh, I loved his uh, gentle certainty. Is that an okay way to phrase it? <laughs> it's like a good way to silence the room. <laughs> Ah, 
Yeah, it was quite beautiful, Elijah. Oh, I missed that mastermind. That was a, that was a really nice experience in terms of group interaction. This was some of the best I've I've been in. It's gotten better. Um, we've refined a little bit of the dialogue um, to keep the judgment out of the picture, right? Listen deeply for the gift that's being offered and don't address the shadows. Um, look deeper. Um, and that way we don't turn into, it doesn't turn into like therapy or it doesn't turn into um, um, uh, it doesn't turn into separation thinking, right? Where judgment tends to really wreak havoc. Um, so if we can just look beyond whatever shadows are coming up and don't forget them, but just look beneath them to see if there's a, a pearl underneath there. And then we can work with the shadows as assumptions, you know, they're uh, the choice of a definition. Um, and there's a higher frequency definition or another word that might be closer to uh, a coherence uh, or a truth or closer to a truth. Um, so we're doing a little bit of what I kind of picked up from Juan Carlos just in reading about him, about the social alchemy. Um, I just kind of rephrased it to say, well, I like to look at it as kind of social Aikido, you know, taking something negative that was said and trying to um, just spin it into a higher frequency. Don't, don't push against it. Don't put attention on it just suggest a, an alternative word that's at a higher frequency or an alternative definition and rephrase it as a, what if it was phrased this way? Or what if it was in the form of the question instead of a statement? And it gets to a, it, it spirals into a higher frequency, do it, thus the alchemy. It's, the idea, and I'm still practicing it. I'm, I'm not that great at it yet, but it's averted a few uh, disasters <laughs> of, oh, this is getting into a, a pissing match. <laughs> um, and because somebody judged somebody else or invalidated somebody else or evaluated somebody else. And, yeah, there, there is definitely time for that type of uh, shadow work. But if we want to have some progress in a meeting, I'd love to see if we can't spiral it into something more positive. Mm. So is it the context still somebody presents and then there's discussion after? Sometimes. Um, and sometimes it's just little ad hoc presentations throughout the long period, right? And, some insight comes up and somebody says, oh, here's something I've been working on that's in flow. And then there's more dialogue after that and some integration of how can it fit with something else and some good questions. Yeah, but it's, very, it's, it's not as structured as we set out to make it. And it's, it's just trying to get that, like in Bohmian dialogue, getting the assumptions out of the way without judgment and just once the assumptions are out of the way, everyone's at a, a, a nice high for a frame of consciousness that um, insights just start pouring out and integration opportunities. Hmm. How many people are generally there? Uh, it goes from anywhere, I think one week we had uh, 26 and after after nine or eight and a half or that 13 and a, 13 and a half hour one, there was still six left at the end of the call. Um, some of them don't stay the whole time, obviously, but and some come in later and some are surprised. Like, I think it was one time it was, 
it was must have been like 1 30 or 2 a.m in the uk and brett jumps on and says you guys are still on <laughs> he had been at the beginning of the call but <laughs> He was going to bed and just thought he'd check and there he stayed on for another hour. One of the things that interests me is, um, you know, first of all, is what is arising in me in the presence of the two of you. This has not happened before. So I'm, I'm, I'm observing is something new happening in me, what's the thoughts, whatever. It's also quarter past midnight my time, but that's one thing. And the second thing, is that we all know the same people uh, in terms of, I, I don't know what to call this world. So for example, if I'm talking to somebody, uh, like I'm connected to a network, which is run by a guy who's got a lot of people in the corporate field. And I'm trying to find a way to connect to him to explain the, the world that we live in, consciousness, new paradigm, whatever you want to call it. And like this guy's former Accenture, very senior, he's had a spiritual break, breakthrough, breakdown, but he, his world is just so different to ours. You know, for him to come into this call, I, I know I can feel it, he, he'd just be very uncomfortable, but he wants what we're talking about, but he doesn't know how to bridge the, so it's how to bridge these little gaps and he's certainly not the only one there's at least probably hundreds of him in corporate world so I'm not saying that there is a how or there's a sort of set of protocols but I'm because I feel like I'm an interface between these kind of I can talk to this guy because he's a Scottish guy he's exact you know he's like what do you think we should be doing I said well you should be talking to these guys <laughs> And what do they do? What is this? So there's no actual, it's just to translate from that reality and that paradigm and that projection onto the world into what we see. And that, that for me is that, that kind of work is really key. Mm. Can I, I guess, maybe jump in with a, uh maybe answer in terms of the I want to show uh, Mark the remedy program maybe we could ask a question for the remedy program you cool with that definitely William William is is okay with that Elijah <laughs> it, because my first my first question I asked you was about sofas in this one all right sofas that's right <laughs> okay another remedy <laughs> so, so Mark, it's an online, um, an online, uh oh, mm, the dragon. Mm. It's not public yet. This isn't, I'm waiting for, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than typing in front of in the public. I close my eyes. <laughs> okay, so there's three ways of divining. They can divine your own question. You can pick a question or write a question. Mm. Let's say write a question. So we can I like it already. Uh, what is the best? Yes. Think about that as a question. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Organization. Conflict resolution. Emotions. Um. Yeah. Organization to def to value the state or manner of being organized. Conflict resolution to work towards a state of harmony between incompatible perspectives. And emotions, an effective state of consciousness in which joy, sorrow, fear, hate, but alike is experienced as distinguished from cognitive states of consciousness. So this is a spell that takes into account the first words of value, the second words of a convo type that I think you were introduced to, Mark. At yes, the, yes. And then the lens is 
is within the whole idea or system is, is the one specific focus point. So then each one of us would be given the chance to answer the question. You wanna go first, Mark? Using those cards as your sort of focal points. Hmm. To answer each one? However you want to do it, you could put them all together. But basically, the reference point is that is the three is the is the question. What is the best way for us three to connect our gifts? Right. Okay. Well, I think the organization um, aspect of uh, resonance as an organizing tool or coherence as an organizing tool. Um, when we find that, um, that, that spirit connection, um, the values uh, shift and the agreements are unburdened right there. The ag agreements become broader. So in organization, um, I think it, uh, in almost all of these cases, I think that the, the, the rise in consciousness helps us um, see each other more clearly. And that from an emotional, oh, well, from conversation type. Hmm. What was the conver conversation type again? Conflict resolution. Can you see Conflict. it? Uh, well, it changed to um, play the game of now blackboard. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> change the play at the game of now <laughs> i like that but so yeah the conflict resolution it's another thing that disappears when you find this uh, um, coherence or resonance um Conflict resolution has a lot to do with those definitions I was talking about, where at the, at the lower frequency definitions, things are more solid, more separate, and therefore conflict has more, uh, more of a challenge or more of an opportunity. But as the frequencies get higher in the language that we use, um, those those barriers or separateness disappears. And that goes with emotions too, because as emotions are have frequencies, all, all emotions have frequencies. And the lower frequency emotions uh, represented by um, usually are um, based on the um, something that's already been experienced, the lower frequencies can be, well, they can also be in the future, like, you know, like worry or anxiety as kind of an emotion can be about um, worry or fear of the future or fear of the unknown. But in the present, I think the um, emotions are um, more clear. We're seeing things as they are. And, and I've always looked at the negative emotions are, you know, they're 
they're sitting on top of again uh, some gift, some something more of the, closer to your true nature. And I think that we don't run into very many negative emotions in this group <laughs> for the three of us. <laughs> How can we connect? But I see this. Uh, very instructive for looking at how we operate in other groups, like what Graham was mentioning uh, from the corporate world. Um, how do we work with that uh, when those patterns and condition conditioning um, are still um, struggling with something? You know, even within themselves or from their experience in the past or their concern for a future, uh, those emotions can, can draw a lot of attention. And there it's a calling for being healed. <laughs> but why, if you can come up with good questions like what you just typed in if you could if you could create good questions around uh, those three things like value convo type and lens uh, organization conflict uh, re resolution and emotions if you could come up with beautiful questions for each of those in how we relate to each other i think that might be a very beautiful tool William? What is the best way for us the three to connect our gifts? Well, it's interesting that, you know, first of all, I would like to the, confirm that we're aware of each other's gifts. You know, what, what are they? Um, because you know what I see in 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 like in you, Elijah, is your dedication to. I mean, you you're in, incredible dedication to creating these maps and what you've done and all the stuff you've been through. So there's an extraordinary organization, and you've been through conflict and emotion to to do this. So your gift to create these maps. And with Mark, when I whenever I see whatever no matter who appears you, you're loving attention to them and you know that that's one of your gifts plus all the stuff you know i don't know you that well but i can tell that the that like you've read you the, the work you've done and and your consciousness and i think that what i'm finding with people like just to go other side is to look at people like 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 fleming and john Keldon and Nora Bates, and then oh, you know, there's a whole raft of people we, we get into, like uh, Daniel Schmachtenberger and Jordan Hall and, and Michelle Bowens, and we all we all know each other, and you know, there's not a conference that brings us all together because we're all in different fields, and so I'm, you know, here we are now, the game of now for me. It's like what what is arising in me um, with the two of you that wouldn't be here if it was if it wasn't Elijah, it was somebody else, it wasn't Mark, it was somebody else. And I think there's a connection to um, leadership. That's that's what I feel is just in terms of organization. It's like. Um, And I can certainly feel as well with regard, I mean, when, when you're around Mark or if I'm around, there isn't as much conflict. I don't know about you, Elijah, but if you're around, there isn't as much conflict. And organization, I feel it's like it, it tends to organize itself. So what is the best way for us three to connect our gifts? Um, I'd like to be able to acknowledge each other's gifts. I'm not sure how that connects to those three. Well, just Levels. hearing you know, the, let's just say Mark is very good with emotions. I'm very good with the organization and you might be very good with the conflict resolution. Just looking at something like that. I mean, I, 
I spent all my time on sort of organizing information in a sense. So I, I, I feel like the old folks that I have done a lot of, I've been in a lot of conflict. I have resolved some of it. But I, I guess I would see that the three of us, what about a conflict resolution conference? You know, like actually bring together people to fight or to have conflict and actually train people to mediate, maybe using this tool, like just bringing in a different question it totally changes the way you see whatever it is the problem is. And that's what I see with divination. It changes the agenda. It changes how people interact because people don't know what the answer is. And people have to kind of figure it out. And then they go through a process like this of going, okay, well, this is what it means to me, this means to me. And it's a much different methodology let's say, looking at what the problem is or what the question is. So, I mean, this is a tool which I haven't brought into the market. I'm waiting for the front artwork to be done. But it's, it's like, it's a great way to stimulate conversation. And I, I want to bring it into the world in a good way. And there might be some thing that we can work on together, an event to, to sort of uh, do that. And showing that this is how we started. We started with a question. We started with a conversation. And then if we sort of, I've, I've had this idea of, you know, you just move from move to move to move and the next move is your next question. Put a new question, get a new answer, and then that's your next move. And so it's sort of like brings together in the present moment now, the game of now, this is part of the game of now. You ask a question, then you get this. And uh, it'd be something fun. You know, I want to start having some fun. Um, you know, making stimulating conversations with, with the tools that have come through. Mm. Yes, no, but... You, you sound quite sad, Elijah. You're right. <laughs> you want people to play with my Dude. toys. <laughs> I'm gonna play with my toys. I gotta go to Jupiter to find someone who wants to play with my toy. <laughs> I like your toy. <laughs> I think that's a. I, mean, I just love to. Is there an algorithm based on the the question, or is it a random selection of different uh, cards? Or there's a like it's there's a physical card set. I think yeah. I showed you some of the cards, yes. right? So yeah. there's like about a hundred value cards. There's about seventy two conversation types, and then there's about maybe three hundred of the other types. No, one hundred, yeah. maybe two hundred. So the lenses. There's a specific set. Yeah. So what, what is this conversation type, the three of us? Right now? Yeah. yeah. I think we just switched maybe to a bit of a, of a feedback, maybe. Give feedback about what we just experienced. Yeah. Could shift into a brainstorm of what, maybe work a bit on what just happened. Well, I thought it was quite stimulating for, you know, framing a perspective, right? And looking at it through those different <coughs> um, focal points, it really get the, got my, my juices flowing in terms of, ah, how, how can I look at it through, even though the last one was the lens, right? Um, and thinking about the value and thinking about the organization and just the, just looking at it through these lenses. I, I think that's always valuable when you can assume a different perspective. It's like, how, how flexible are you on the emotional scale? You know, that's a, that's a real sign of health if you can navigate the whole scale pretty effortlessly if it's free right if it's not locked into a chronic you know uh, state and i loved looking at things from an organizational standpoint because of we're we've been working with two-dimensional organizations for a very long time um and the 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 triangle of hierarchy is a is like a two-dimensional 
hierarchy and just add another leg, please, you know, to get a tetrahedron at least so that we have a surface at the bottom so we can have bottom up hierarchies, right? Mm -hmm. um, with a hierarchy on the bottom. Uh, just start moving into multidimensional organization, not be so flat. Mm. Well, sounds like we need a shared knowledge community with a multidimensional my, operating system. Yeah. My, cons my constant struggle was about whose game is it anyway? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, <laughs> it's like, if I've got to play, okay, I've got to play your game and then we're playing my game, playing Mark's game and someone else's game, I've got to play your game. I only play it if you pay me. Okay, you pay me, I'll play your game. No problem. Um, and then who's in charge anyway? And the start the rules, right. <laughs> all of that stuff. It's like how to create spaces when no one's, but then it's it's never possible. That that's my so every time I've run a game of now and saying, well, I'm I'm it's not my game. That's right. But they're saying, well, yeah, but you started it. So well, I, I have started it, but now, you can be your game now if you want. And then that's they right. take they take control, and then other people will say, I don't want to play your game. <laughs> and eventually <laughs> say, we want to play Grim's game because he started it all. So, so it's like, we, so we, we how do we do this I'm together? I get something. You, you start off like this in a Zoom call, and you start a conflict with somebody in a group or whatever it is. So you come in, get them going, and then you go, "Well, geez, I got to bring in someone." Then you bring in Mark, who's kind of like the mediator, who starts to, to sort of get things calm. And then you bring me in with this, and then you dive into the into the experience. Like, and then I leave. And then I leave. That's right. <laughs> go, Not Elijah. I got to go. He just goes and has a tea and then comes back a little later to because, see where it ended up. <laughs> dear, 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 this a friend of ours, Elijah, and the reason why we fell out was because of the word the. So I had the word the game of now, and there was this whole, you can't call it the game of now because the game of now is not. It's, I've got my games, you've got your games, you can't call it the. I said, I can call it whatever I want. <laughs> you can't tell me what I can call No, but you can't because... Oh, well, because your why is it your idea is more important than mine, and I'm quite happy to get. I can change the name entirely, but it's yeah. this sense of when someone's got a model or a framework. I'm I'm absolutely delighted to enter into someone else's model or framework. That's what a city is. I enter. I go to Paris. It's somebody else's model or framework. I go. This is interesting, but they're not. They're not as I as they enter. They're not saying. Paris is the best city in the world or you cannot go it. It's the only place you can. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> we are the best city in the world. You know, it's like, okay, so if I enter your framework, it's just, okay, here's something you can experience and enjoy. You might you might learn something. Great. That's, I, this is what I like. But when it's framed as this can change everything, you say, well, of course it could because everything changes everything. But it's it's that sense of, um, in a way, it's what my old mentor years and years ago was saying, it's like you enter a space where you just take your shirt and tie off, you take off your CEO, you're just Jimmy, <laughs> or whatever your name is. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Yeah, what's going on? Oh God, I feel terrible. You know, so it's, it's just, a sort of honest meeting of people, um, and how and how how to do that. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it's invitations into. So Elijah's amazing at that structure and organisation, doing all these things. So I know I'm entering into that world. You know, if you enter into the game of now, you're going to end up in. There's nothing there. It's the empty folder. So, and then. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of decades of being on the internet and, and always people who are sort of slowly connecting and know each other and where that's going. 
Fascinating. I'm getting starved. I think I'm on my way out. Um, but do you guys want to meet again and, and further pursue this possibility as a threesome? William, what do you think about the die? I'm always game if there's what? a window. This, this year. <laughs> this year. <laughs> you two haven't connected in a while, eh? <laughs> no, he, Elijah, uh, Mark, Elijah and I met. When did we meet? No idea. <laughs> it was non-linear time, so it was, it's hard uh, to pinpoint. It was a, it was a funny. Old, I think it was 2016. It was a funny old time. Gabriel Silverfire, Tammy Lee Mayer. Was it, it? It wasn't through Gabriel, was it? I introduced you to Gabriel. I thought. No, you introduced me. You introduced me to Gabriel. Yeah, who's now Soma. Ah. Yeah. Anyway. I think it's a case of, yeah, just as as and when it is. Okay. So Intuition, telepathy, telepathy is a new thing, man. It's... Yeah, and I go on North Pole time, so. Mark, I'll send you the site. Like, it's not ready for public yet, but I'll send you the site so you can start to play a bit with it. Oh, please. Yes, thanks, Elijah. You'll yeah, like, I, I think I you'll... love playing with those things. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go. Okay. Me too. Great to, see you, to see you both. And, yeah. Uh, much love to you both. Uh, take care, Elijah. Take care. <laughs>